there, I have to show you something. It's a pair of jeans and it's no ordinary pair of jeans. It's the beginning of my story when I decided to stand up for myself. So this is a pair of jeans. As you can see, it's torn here and uh, we taped it while sitting during my student life sitting in the canteen of IBS. My friends taped it. It's all torn from different places, not for fashion, but because of washing. And I had only one pair of jeans back then. I didn't have clothes. I didn't have food. I was homeless as well. Um, there are a few things written as well on it. My friends left a note. And I have kept it to remind myself because whenever I have stressful days or my downer days, I remind myself that I have been through this. So this is Mehreen Hashmi and uh, this is my channel. If you're new to here, I talk about mental health, my own struggles with developmental trauma and my struggles as an abuse survivor as well as after moving out. So this is about moving out from my place. This jeans was the start of it because when you are given a package, as I call it, families, we have, it's, it's a package. Some have very caring ones, loving ones, pampering ones and some have like mine. I've had a lot of questions about that uh, socially. Why? What happened? You know, I was questioned because we are living in a society where it's very difficult for yourself to stand up. And this video today is for all of those who have been surviving or still suffering the emotional, physical, mental and sexual abuse. Yes, sexual abuse. I have been questioned for that for so many years and uh, I was not, I am an artist and that's how I have started narrating my story, my own emotional ordeal and my story, the outcome and the aftermath of it in my work. But I was not allowed to uh, exhibit in Pakistan because I have galleries where I come except in Ankarthi because of the context. When I was a student, I wanted to do my thesis on that and I was moving out, standing up against my abusers and doing my thesis of fine art. That's why I only had one jeans to wear. I could not afford clothes. I could not afford food. I was just living in the studio or at friends places. I was paying for it. I was working. But then miracles arrive, you know. It happens when you are on your extreme point. My opinion is that miracles are at that time when you don't have anything to do. When you are done towards your extreme level of attempts, then it happens. So for a lot of those people um, who doesn't understand, I have been questioned a lot, how can this happen? And you can't do this as well, parents. I don't understand the question actually because when you are already reading news every day of girls either getting raped dead killed we have so many cases of domestic violence we know that there happens sexual abuse happens in a lot of places because of my work when i was exhibiting and before the start of this channel and vlogs uh, when I opened up about my story, which is very new, it's like a couple of years old because Me Too movement gave me some courage to do it, some social friends gave me courage to do it. I was not allowed or able to talk about it and I wanted to talk about it because there is not much understanding. So in 2008, I moved out. I was 24 years old doing my thesis as I have told you and going through a breakdown as well because I didn't want to move out as well. It's not easy for you um, considering a Pakistani a household and it's not easy for you to stand up against those who are abusing. So I am not talking about a regular argument of your likes and dislikes or a regular disagreement with your parents. I am talking about extreme situations when there is a threat for your life and death and then you are being abused in all four categories i've mentioned those categories earlier and i'm not going to repeat it you are smart enough to understand you don't ask these questions to victims or survivors because they are already going through a lot i have worked for a decade yes for a decade with counseling for my mindful routine my meditation my workout a lot of things and it has been a very rocky road 
and then I'm able to sit here and talk about it and I'm talking about it so all of those who have a better family or a functional household you need to understand that when someone is going through this and this is happening so it happens because hota ye hai ke hum log denial mein rehte hain hamari puri society ek denial mein rehti hai ke acha ye kaise ho sakta hai um magar kyun mera aapse ek sawal hai mujhe kya pata kyun if i knew that why is it happening and i mean why me then why i mean i would be at a very good place and i would be at a lot of peace as well so let me tell you the story that what happens after you move out you are suffering you don't have the basic need of being a human or being pampered as a child or feel safe fine that's another story you decide to get out you decide to survive you decide to live you decide to stand up for yourself you decide to study i was paying for my education as well um of course those who are abusing you they are not going to give you anything right and understand that they are the predators as well families mein hota hai i have i have i there are a lot of people who have been sending me their stories and i have met also in person as well in friend circles as well there are people who have been abused by step fathers family friends brothers cousins mamu uncles so many things we all know that that ha- this happens but we want to stay in denial if someone stand up and says that ke bhai this is the reason you are question jaise ke mere sath pure 10 saal tak hua hai right so the thing is ke when you are actually planning to go out or escape or move out eventually there is another hell waiting for you first hell is financial struggles of course there are not many girls and if you are a fresh graduate or a student you don't have part time jobs and then uske baad aapko shuru mein ek help chahiye hoti hai theek hai bahut kam aisa hota hai ki wo aapko mayassar ho bahut sari ladkiyan hain those who are stuck in those household in those uh, abusive uh, backgrounds and there are a lot of men as well men women children a lot of people i'm talking about everyone it's not gender segregated it happens with everyone first thing is jaye to jaye ka because socially you are not acceptable as well if you make up your uh, you know you have work i was blessed to be an artist because we are trained to be out there we are trained to be vocal or expressive so i had this in me to be expressive i had the courage to paint my uh, so emotional ordeal in visuals and show the world that what i was going through and then i made a cause of my work because what i was going through these whole 10 years i had help i had friends but i had 99% of very difficult experiences and that affected my emotional healing very very difficult jab aapko bahar nikal ke bhi sukoon nahi milta and then you know fine you are alive you have your life and then i had the opportunity to travel and now make my life and a career and i'm grateful because agar maine wo nahi kiya hota to main yahan tak nahi pahunchti this was the reason of doing it but then the thing is that there is another struggle waiting for you to reach to this level that you can be at peace and have financial stability as well and get yourself accepted in the society as well so about that when a girl or a boy or anyone is moving out or having troubles or standing up against their abusers we are the other people has to have to accept them instead of asking questions hum ye kyun nahi puchte ke how are you doing today how are you emotionally doing I was I, I was asked I mean there were good people around me ke you know if you need anything let us know and all of that but I'm not this person who would just you know keep asking for favors but help arrived I stayed at a friend's house for a month until I found another place um I won a reality show I'm writing all these details um I'm writing a book which uh, hopefully I've finished 21000 words so far but they have done so much with me that you know i have to write more and more and all the details in facts and this is giving me my catharsis but then the social struggles as well that how this could be easier for me to go through that alone because aap when you are sick you are alone 
when you are um, in any kind of stress or distress, you are alone because you don't. I, I, I have good friends and everything, but I don't get to be weak or uh, I don't get to cry in front of people a lot. I don't get to do that. I have to be a strong person because question Hamesha after the KR, you know, uh, you have to justify yourself that you did the right thing and you are happy and all of that. Because then why are you why did you move out and all of that. You have something to do, you have to be free. I didn't want to be free. I just wanted to live alone. And I didn't want to be alone. I wanted to live alone. When you don't want to treat people as a person, then it's a person for you. और मुझे अगर जहन्नुत भी नहीं तो मुझे इस दुनिया में इंसानों की तरह जिंदा रहना था। That's why I did that. Um, another thing is that setting boundaries because all we see is a girl who is young and alone. So that was my very major struggle because there are predators everywhere. There are people who want to use you a lot outside as well. Besides your monetary and your basic needs and struggles, this also come and add to your sufferings and struggles. I, if I had a friend who would have hugged me when my father died, or if I had a friend who would have hugged me or given me a shoulder when I was sick, very sick, not being able to work, and it's very scary when you are alone and you can't work. That's very scary and when you are always, I, I was always alone in extreme situations where if for example, in our social media, someone dies and then everybody goes and gives the person and everything and it, it makes you makes it easier for you. I didn't get that because I was not fit in this monster. If you are fit, it's very good for me and it's easy for everyone to support me and it's easy for everyone to support me and I'm really grateful for that support and acceptance. But I want every other person who is trying to move out or stand up for themselves when they're getting out. I want this acceptance for everyone. I want this acceptance for every mental health struggle. Because hum log usme, I, mentioned, I did a whole vlog about every, how everybody is talking about mental health these days. It's not depression. It's developmental trauma. It's... it's personality disorders it's a lot of things and I've been asked to move on and all of that it doesn't matter I have made a lot of other vlogs about developmental trauma and how I work I worked on my appearance and my self-confidence and my trauma in my body and I do share my stories um, in detail my daily routine on Instagram you can follow that on Mehreen Hashmi underscore MH or my Facebook Mehreen um, so you can see that there or you can watch my other vlogs I'm not going on details but I do receive a lot of people a lot of messages of people who are into abusive households and they don't know how to get out because first thing is that you get to have a studio apartment or anything like that in my time it was hell I had to go through a lot of trouble to just find a peaceful house or I had to live with bullied um, you know bullies so I could just have a shelter and roof on my head. This was, uh, I mean, it's like two, three years of good days now because things are changing. But I think things have to change more because HGs, just understand HGs that those who don't have functional families or loving childhood or good childhood are pampered when you're not taken care of. So you also have a void inside you. A family who is supposed to love you and care for you and then when they don't, this leaves a very big scar on your heart and this leaves wounds that you keep healing towards your end. I mean to your old age. I am healing. I am a very good place emotionally but I still don't feel that fully full person who doesn't have any kind of voice because when you see your family ko dekhte hai, they are loving their kids they are caring their kids your friends have parents and they are supporting them protecting them and then you never had this one so of course being a person being a human being it hurts I don't mean to have advice but that's how it is and I've accepted that reality all I want you to understand that understand this thing that if you have someone who looks like this who has no loss in life and you know so don't hit where it hurts. Don't 
ब्लर्ड यू आर स्टूपिड क्वेश्चन के ये कैसे हुआ ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है वाई यू ये वो ऐसे कैसे कर सकते हैं जस्ट शो सम कम्पेसन एंड सिंपति एंड इट्स वेरी मच पॉसिबल बिकॉज आई हैव पीपल इन माई लाइफ हु डू अंडरस्टैंड आई नो पीपल सोशली अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु वुड एंड क्रॉस दिस बाउंड्री एंड आई रियली रिस्पेक्ट दैट जब वो वन परसेंट ये समझ सकती है तो बाकी की नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट भी ये बात बहुत अच्छे से समझ सकती है so this is what I want to say today because um, I had couple of I came to know couple of people where um, there was this one person you know whose parents were separated and the mother was not home and things happened with her a lot of things so it's disturbing it's you know it should they should be able to go to anyone and talk about it because everybody can understand i had friends who were very best friends but i never got to talk about my stuff because that was never understandable and it makes you very very emotionally difficult person aapki bahut sari cheeze shut down ho jati hai बहुत आसान होता है कि ना ट्राई करो यार ट्रस्ट करो ऐसे नहीं होता हर लोग ऐसे नहीं होते बट वट अबाउट अ पर्सन हु इज सफरिंग 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 होल लाइफ सिंस बर्थ एंड हेयर टू एडल्ट हुड नाउ आई एम अ पर्सन हु नोज वट आई वॉन्ट एंड आई डोंट नीड पीपल अराउंड मी और आई हैव कपल ऑफ पीपल दो क्लोज फ्रेंड्स एंड आई कुड टॉक टू बट आई हैड टू वर्क अ लॉट फॉर इट राइट इट शुड बी ईजी फॉर एवरी वन मेक इट अ बेट ईजियर फॉर दोज पीपल इफ यू नो सम वन इज गोइंग थ्रू सम थिंग यूज योर वर्ड्स wisely or if you don't know how to use good words just don't say anything because it's better than hurting someone um uh, not doing good it's something you know if you just don't say stupid things don't be a stupid person it ye zindagi pehli bahut mushkil hai aur pehli itna kuch hum log jhelte hain dekhte hain it's happening a lot out there so why not spread some love and compassion so take care of each other and if you have not subscribe to my channel please do subscribe i am posting every week i have another series of sad game which is ending um we are ending the season and there is another series of behind the art scene coming up as a curator because this is what i do for a living you can find my work online so thank you again so much for watching don't forget to take care of yourself do take care of yourself and you are the only one if you are one like me planning to move out or suffering or something if you can make it better that's on you only your counselor can advise you guide you but you are the only one who can help yourself so do it today have courage i am a very big example in fact i am a miracle of god a true definition that i am alive and living my life because i took the most difficult decision and the step of my life it was the biggest risk ever and this has taken me here today so if you really want to live with your own terms and be yourself respect yourself love yourself take that decision you can do it only you can do it apna bahut zyada khayal rakhiyega click on the notification bell and again don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching much love